What's up YouTube, Big D here, time to review Bones, Season 10, Episode, where are we, Episode 4, titled The Geek in the Gut, man, this is a spoiler review, if you've not seen the episode, I advise you to go to fox.com slash bones, watch the full episode there, and right on, man, should take less than about two minutes to recap the whole episode, pros to cons, tell you my final thoughts on this episode, thank you so much for joining me, do not forget, every Thursday, I also review Grace Point, which is also another Fox show, so stay tuned for that, baby. So first off, these uh, teenager boys, probably elementary boys, maybe, middle schoolers, not, a, yeah, elementary, middle schoolers, they're looking up, they're trying to look porn and everything, and they obviously don't know how to do it right, and they're trying to look it up, and they go on the satellite, and they find a dead body, what the, the it's a coincidence, right, it's, yeah, so realistic. And the guy who's the dead body, he's white and he's about in his twenties. And Booth daughter Booth's daughter and Brendan Bones, Christine, they're, like, they're worrying about what school she should go to and all that. And Jessica, I believe this is a girl named Jessica, she grew up with like nineteen people, like it was an experiment or something. And Hayes Robertson is our victim's name. He was a video game designer. And uh basically he did motion captures. We saw some mo motion captures for video games if you're uh, into that, and I really am, so I knew all about this, thank God, and this girl basically threatens, uh, like, I'm gonna get the attorney if you guys don't get out of here, the FBI, and there, we see, uh, they're testing water dummies because of how, because he was found on, like, the beach, or in the rock, so, his body was very, very ugly when he got found, uh, they found the arms, Booth takes down the Minotaur, he just, like, totally takes down the mocap guy, he just kicks his ass, and basically the guy who got his ass kicked was named Travis and he's like he stole my game he stole my game I did a six punch combo on him and basically God, Brennan and her daughter Christine is at a park and she's like uh uh no Christine that's the maximum level of swinging don't go over it and it's like God, you must be the worst mom ever seriously and Hayes was visiting Chloe and Noah's girlfriend, basically, uh, so basically they're kind of like cheating, and Noah goes out and he sees Chloe, and he's like, or Chloe was like, who the hell are you? So we find out that Chloe was never real, Hayes would cat was catfishing Noah, and yeah, basically scammed Noah. So they're talking to Chloe, and he said, how, after Hayes died after a week, why was Chloe still talking to me? And basically, he's kind of, Noah's kind of game with Chloe, like, the real Chloe, which her name is, uh, I don't know, it didn't say, but she's like, your eyes shine, really, diamonds? And then they recreate the death, the mocap, the shield, shield is what killed Hayes, and the killer loved Noah, the killer's name is Alice, and at the end, Booth and Brennan have bath sex with a beer hat, basically. What a way to end the episode, I man, we don't actually see it, sadly, but, uh, you know, viewers discretion advised so what did I think about this episode overall man season 10 episode 4 which is the 194th episode overall of the series first off let's start with the cons first man I did not care one anything about the Jessica and oh I grew up with 19 people in my house and everything blah 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 I did not care about that at all why every week they're always focused on somebody that we haven't seen or I, you know, I haven't seen no seasons of Bones except six episodes of season one and episode, you know, season ten so far of what I've been seeing. So, what's the big deal? I mean, of with different characters. We just want to see the main ones and that's it. Um, there, there was slow and confusing parts. About 40% of this episode was slow and there were confusing parts. And it kind of added, didn't add up together all until the end. Now the pros, I love the mo-caps in the games, I love the plotline of the story of how Hayes was a video game designer and how he catfished his best friend, and you know, that evil, evil scheme that he has. And I just, again, love the mo-capping and notice how they love games, and Booth was like, what the hell's a minotaur? And Booth is, you know, doesn't know anything about these games, come on, Booth, you're an FBI agent, don't you play Call of Booty? Or Call of Duty, whatever the hell that's called, I don't know. And I love the victim of Hayes and how his body was found and the death of how he died by a shield and everything. So, what a way to go. 
So overall, I'm going to give this episode of Bones a solid B, secondarily a C+. I thought that this episode was cool at times. Some were funny parts. Aubrey wasn't as annoying as last week, which I was kind of like, oh, I bet Aubrey's going to suck this up. Oh, not much of Aubrey. I like that. Um, you know, Brandon's character's kind of getting annoying. But overall, it was a cool chill episode you could say but still there were those parts where you're like really are we really going in this direction come on you're running out of storylines do something else other than that yeah that's what i thought about this episode man comment down below let me know what do you guys think of this episode of bones and the next episode airs october 30th so next week no bones in two weeks we return the day before halloween i don't know if that matters anyway thank you so much hope all of you enjoyed feel free to subscribe and share this video let everyone know that bones his bones. Yeah. May the Spock be with you. Always hope you enjoyed. And as always, do not go into mocap. Because you'll end up getting the mocap of your death recorded. How the irony of that. And then, then the FBI's find the recording of the shield killing you. Realistic, huh?